Welcome to a Decidueye video here for some Pokemon Unite today. This character is definitely one of my favorite in the game. The very tactile sound effect of your spirit shekel arrow cutting through someone, letting you know that you hit them even if they're off screens is one of the most satisfying things in Pokemon Unite, in my opinion. This is a character that really rewards you for having fantastic positioning, utilizing Shadow Sneak for a bit of extra movement consistently, along with our X speed to occasionally get us out of more tight spots means that even though this character is very fragile, we can have a big impact inside of fights so long as we have a lot of awareness of where our enemies are at at any given point. Spirit Shackle not only hits from an incredible distance, but it hits incredibly hard and it scales up better than most other attacks in Unite, gaining five to six points of damage for every additional attack stat your character has. This is why we're playing all damage items on this character, Muscle Band and then Attack Weight giving us the most attack, but then the third item here, Float Stone, in addition to giving us a little bit of extra movement speed to cut around the edge of the fight also gives us an attack boost as well. As far as emblems go, I've settled on this loadout as my favorite for attacker style characters like this that like cooldown reductions. We've got seven black, but then we've also finagled in four purple, two blue, and two orange to give us a little bit of extra defense and attack stats as well. This highlight game especially I think is some of the best positioning I've had with a highlight for Decidueye. Note the damage taken at the very end of the game is actually less than 10,000 over the course of an entire 10 minute game. If you are getting caught with the Sidui, it means that you're not paying careful enough attention to the map and noting where your enemies are. And this game, I think, has a lot of fantastic examples of my positioning inside of engagement, showcasing how you can be impactful with the damage you're dealing, but at the same time, make sure you're keeping your squishy character nice and safe. Everybody's stacking, welcome to the metagame. Death speed away, please. Was there a five on the ground from? That's so weird. Where did our center go? I'm gonna go into our central area at this point because our center like walked up, saw everybody here and then turned around. So there's no way we can count on them to do anything for us at this point.
level 8. Let's get to the bottom ASAP. They're not on it quite yet. Our friends need to walk up now, though, so I can get there in time. Now we're gonna lose it. Good stuff. Our, what's it called? Even understood that we were stacking and needed this. Rose of Thick Lad, who's probably dead. I'm backing out here. I have no idea why our Gengar just united there, but I have never felt more validated in taking the center from someone before. <laughs> never before have all of my decisions made more sense. We popped X speed at exactly the right moment there, huh? Bites the dust. His bee's gone. Or now. This Rotom's about to crash down. There's a couple of people. I'm gonna head bottom for now, tentatively. Not the ideal person to be holding this point alone. Was super stacked up. It's not going to do anything useful there. Hunter's coming up. Let's get a farm in here real quick. Gengar pops off a little bit. Nice thing not to push your buttons. The champ getting 40 in there is unfortunate, but it is what it is. here. Take it around to the bottom. Oh, it looks like Tree's dead. Uh, I can get there in time to save him. Yeah. Kind of low. Slowbro's walking down. Slowbro walks up here. get both of them with that arrow? Sure did. The final 
bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone, another one bites the dust. Hey, gonna get you two, another one bites the dust. Do, 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 do. Oh, what are we doing, friends? There are, there are a lot of them up, friends. I'm just going home. <laughs> I'm not going to get him without them knocking me out. We have a minute left. I'm just going to farm my Unite Boom back up real quick here. Probably not possible, actually. Our Unite Boom is a pretty long recharge. Only 47 seconds left. Yeah, it's probably a waste to farm. Whatever. Just chill. I don't really want to launch pad with this character because you don't want to jump on top of a bunch of people. I'm just going to kind of float in the middle of the speed zone and we'll tap Shadow Sneak and X speed when we see people run out. Slowbro's got vision forward at the bottom, which is nice. So I can float towards the top a little bit because when we see them coming here, we'll know in advance. And scored an extra hundred for MVP. That's great. That's honestly pretty smart. Just like you assume they're all gonna make a push, you might as well send one person over to cap. So that way, in case things go bad, you're at least up a little bit more. Gengar was marching to the beat of its own drum there for a lot of that game, but uh, we did good. Highest damage on the team. Most knockouts. Not bad. It's the end of the video. Now you know it. Please smash like. Remember to leave a comment down below. Share the video with someone else that you think might enjoy it. And drop back again tomorrow for another Pokemon Unite highlight here on YouTube.